Hey guys, it's Agonis Tilmer again and welcome back to my channel. So first of all, thank you again for joining today. I really appreciate your time. And today I'm pretty excited because I'm going to show you a tool that I use quite a bit with VS Code and Unity 3D. This tool is called Unity Code Snippets. It's going to simplify the process of creating its snippets in a very, very fast manner. As you can see on the video that is playing behind me, I can create a scriptable objects, I can create mono behaviors, I can use some of the methods that Unity provides, such as the awake, start, and so on, in a very, very fast manner. So Let's jump into my computer and start looking at it. All right, guys, so I'm going to show you an uh, extension that I use quite a bit for VS Code, and it's called Unity Code Snippets. I like it a lot because it allows me to type very quickly. It has the snippets that you can select. It'll basically build, build them for you, such as the ones that you're seeing right now. So what I'm going to show you is how to use it and how we can create a, a very quick editor extension, and also how we can use model behaviors and lastly, I'll show you also how we can use a scriptable object. So if you need to look for it, make sure that you look and search for Unity Code Snippets. The creator is Clever Silva, and I want to say thank you to him for developing such a tool. And so what I'm going to do is let's go ahead and go back into Unity. And this is just a project that I've been working on. I'm just going to do some testing here. So let's say that I create a new object, right? And, and for instance, this could be the App Manager. And normally what you'll do is you go here, you create a component, you add that component. So what we're going to do is we're going to be creating a mono behavior from basically from using the tool that I just showed you. So I'm going to go back here and we're going to be right clicking on scripts. Let's go to file and this is going to be the app manager. And of course it's going to be CS. So normally you'll type all these out. It'll take a long time to do. So what I'm going to do instead is I'm just going to type in mono. And you're going to see that we have a few options and this mono behavior option is the one that is from that extension so as quickly as quickly as that i was able to create all of the sudden uh, mono behavior and the other thing that i can do here is i say that i want to now create a few properties i'm just going to say maybe this app manager has the app name so we'll populate that app name and then i'll just make it serializable because i'm going to be creating an editor extensions of this so the other thing that I could do too is normally you will type in the method that you want to access from the Unity lifecycle. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to say awake and that also gave me the awake method. I could also do update and I could do that as well. Let's say that we also wanted to do a start. So I could just do a start and then or I can just undo and then just put it on the right order. It's going to enter here and then tap and I'm just going to type in start and then that's going to add it for me. So the other thing that I can do as well that he added was the ability to log in a in a very easy manner. So I could do, you know what, I could do log here. And I can say awake meta execute it. I can also do, let's say that on the star, for whatever reason I wanted to log an error, I could just do log error. And there was an error on star. And I can do the same thing. I'm not gonna do it on the update because it's going to do it too much, but I could do log and there are multiple options that we could do we could use low warning and he also has that wired up i can say there was a warning a warning on start so that's how we can use we can use some of those i'm gonna comment out the error because otherwise it's going to log it's gonna log an error warning and log i think it's our are, are fine and then so if we go back into unity and we associate the app manager with the script that we created you're gonna see that you're going to see that it uh, it actually works just like you would expect to work. So we can say the app manager, and then we can say the app name. In this case, it's Visualify, so I'll just say this is my app name. And then all of a sudden we have, you know, we have everything working. So if I were to hit play, everything should work. We should see some logs getting printed, and which are right here. So we can see the, the awake method was executed. So let's say that we wanted to create a, an editor extension from, you know, for, for this app manager. So what we can do is normally what we would do is we can go here, look for an editor folder. So we don't have an editor folder, so we'll just create one. And we can just say editor. And I can double click here. And then normally you will create this, the editor extension from here. I'm going to go ahead and do it in code. So we're going to be just creating. So we have a folder already, so we're going to find that folder. And let me make sure that the folder. So normally you would do that in the scripts folder. I think I didn't do it on the script folder. So I'm just going to go ahead and move it to the scripts folder. Let's drag it and drop it. There we go. 
and now okay so now what we can do is we can say you know what i want to create an editor extension for for the app manager so we can do right click on it i can say file and i can say the app manager editor dot cs and i can do the same thing here i can type in editor so this allows you to do that very quickly so i can type in the editor it knows that uh, automatically fill in the app manager which is actually really cool it saved me that and it actually appended the name and it did everything for me so all all of a sudden we have an app editor created and let me see why i'm getting and this is normal because the app manager it's not this happens when you don't come from unity so we can just close out of this let's go back here and make sure we can play and everything works and yep everything works so so we have an editor and we also have we also have the manager so if i go here so the next thing that i can also do that i i really like so let's go back into let's go back into our editor so normally you can you know you can specify the the custom editor that you're going to be creating from which is in this in, in our case it's going to be the app manager we can add other information in here if we like to so what if we wanted to also add an option for a scriptable object so we could do that as well and that's not going to be specific to the editor it's going to be more of a global option so what i'm going to do is let's go ahead and right click here i'm going to say new file let's say that the editor we wanted to keep you know our app settings so it could it could be app settings and then also the cs because this is going to be this is going to be a scriptable object so i can say a scriptable object and the same thing they it specifies you know what the scriptable object is going to be i can hit enter and the other the other cool thing is he also has the order of the tab so i can i can say you know the file name for this scriptable object is going to be app settings. I can tab it. I can also tell it where this is going to be located. I don't want to look. I don't want to have that be at that location. So what we can do is we can say Visually Five, and then I can say Create App Settings, and this is just a test. It doesn't really matter what we do here. And then we can add a you know a property here. I can just say Private, and we can say just like we did before a string, and then this is going to be the app name. And I'm going to make it serializable. The other thing that I can do here is I can also initialize it. It's going to be, we can say that empty, or we can say on title. It doesn't really matter, but that you get the idea. So now if we go back into Unity and we look for that menu name, we should be able to, to create a scriptable object just like if we, so what we can do is we can create a new folder. I'm actually going to create it under assets and I'm going to say folder. This one is going to be the, or app settings. And I'm going to double click here. And I believe if we right click here, create, visualify, create app settings, you can see that I have my app settings and I also have my empty app name. So that's everything that I wanted to show you. So just to reiterate, I show you how to use the editor extension. Let me go to it here, which is called Unity Code Snippets. Make sure that you download it because it actually simplifies the, the coding process. Uh, quite a bit and I'm going to be putting the link to this asset in the description of this video. Thank you guys.